Hi guys, it's me Dominic from Dominic's Diary. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and checking out today's video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you my latest haul. So if this is something that you think you might enjoy, stick around and here we go. If you are a follower of me on Instagram, if you're not, I'm going to put it down here. But if you are, you might notice that recently I've been posting a lot of fashion top picks. Um, at the moment, I'm sharing winter wardrobe essentials. Um, I also have a like to know it account. So I'll put the, the link to that down in the description box below. Please, please follow me on there. So any of my outfit looks you can um, show but not just outfit things I'm going to have or I do have some home content on there as well so different items that I have or that I like you can shop so I decided I wanted to add some more bright colors into my wardrobe and I thought why don't I use the vouchers that I had for Christmas so I was gifted some vouchers my family um, and my employer and I thought let's start introducing brighter clothes into my wardrobe by using these vouchers because I tend to wear a lot of black, gray, and neutral tones. I do like a pop of color. So you might see with me with red or pink lipstick, you might see me wearing my hot pink coat, or I've got a hot pink um, Calvin Klein bag, or I love to dash in metallics here and there. But I have been a bit kind of neutral, especially with the pandemic and not having anywhere to go. Everything's just become really like, neutral and boring really lounge clothes and stuff and i don't tend to go anywhere so now i think you know what i need to start getting out there socializing and adding brighter items to my wardrobe so these are the items that i've purchased there are a couple of items that are not bright however i wanted to treat myself to those so they were not part of the vouchers but i'm going to link everything down in the description box i'm going to put prices down here as well so you can see how much they um, are if you want to shop the looks then follow me on my shop like to know account and follow me on instagram as well to see all my top picks so shall we start with the first item the first item that i'm going to start off with is this skirt that i'm wearing which is from new look and it's this lovely emerald green um colored skirt it has this lovely split in the front and this ruching design. I still do have to tag on um, because I forgot to take it off before I left the house this morning. I will not be sending this back. This is going to be a part of my wardrobe. Um, I'm going to put down the price down here so you can see how much it was, but I just think it's a lovely skirt um, which you can dress up or dress down. It's a midi length skirt, so you can wear it with boots, you can wear it with heels, or you can dress it down and put a t-shirt on, tuck it in, and maybe a pair of trainers or pumps. Uh, summertime, you can put sandals. This skirt is very, very versatile, so please do not let the split um, deter you. The split is not that bad, in my opinion, but everyone is different. I've got some tights on today, but that is the first item. The next item that I want to show you guys was from River Island, and this is a black cropped top it has this really nice kind of see-through mesh detailing around the neckline and then you have these puff sleeves they are short sleeves um and then you have the nice little sweetheart um cut around the bust and then it also this is the back has um, a button at the top and then the see-through bit detailing bit just here and down to the black again, ruching at the back. Um, this is actually a petite top. I didn't realize it when I put it in my basket because I ordered it online, um, but it does fit me. Um, I ordered a size 12 as well, so it does fit me um, and I really, really like it. So that is an addition. I've wanted a puff sleeve top in my wardrobe for such a long time. So I'm so happy that I managed to find one that I really liked because I find that a lot of them are quite just like only enclose this space. So I felt like if they're moving, if the top's moving, if you lift up, I don't want any accidents. Um, and then you are, you have some of that are longer as well. So it was just finding the right one for me. So to start off with, I've just gone for black, but I do want to get a kind of nudie one. I want to get a pink, um, like floral. I'd love to have like a blue floral as well. Um, so I have been looking for those to see with spring coming um, soon, uh, if I can add something like that into my wardrobe as well. So that is the cropped top. Another cropped top that I purchased from River Island as well is this gorgeous blue. <sighs> How nice is this blue? Look at this. 
So I wear the safe, I got the black, but then I got a different style with the blue. And this is a size 12 as well. And this has this really nice sleeve that um, comes down into like this cuff as well. Nice kind of square, almost square neck. And then zips up at the back. I really like this top. Um, I'm really excited to wear it. I'm hoping to wear it next week when I go to pageant land. We shall see. Um, but this is a great staple piece that I think will be really, really nice in my wardrobe. I'm looking forward to wearing it with a pair of jeans. I'm looking forward to maybe finding some kind of a skirt that I can wear it with. Yes, I'm really looking forward to styling this top. So we started off with the black, we went safe, and then we saw this and thought, let's do it. Let's get the blue. I felt as though I needed some more trousers in my wardrobe and trousers that are a different colour. So I firstly purchased these from Boohoo and this is like a kind of burnt orange sort of shade. The material is polyester and it's this kind of ribbed um, material. So I'll just bring it forward so you guys can see. There we go. So it's this ribbed sort of style you've got the band as well here okay and then it's wide leg so it just flows down by your ankles uh, again a size 12 and you can dress this up or dress this down i'm more than likely probably just going to team this with like tops like vest tops or little t-shirt tops trainers but then if i really want to i can put a pair of heels on just to make it look a little bit more um smart casual if you like but going out there with the burnt orange and i will be wearing that definitely in pageant land as well my second pair of trousers were from boohoo as well and these are high-waisted high-waisted wide legged again and this is more of a kind of brown caramel color if you like the material of these trousers are also polyester uh, but also cotton as well and then the really nice detailing about these trousers is, if, is on both sides we have these straps so what we can do when we wear this if i just show you from the front you see the straps are just um down here by the pockets Okay, so what we can do is we can weave them around the waist and then tie them on the front or tie them at the back. So it's a nice little detailing um, on the waist and I think it will help to accentuate any curves. So if I have a top that's tucked in, you have that detailing that helps to cinch it in at the waist. Um, and then one with a pair of heels because they are quite long. Um, they are wide leg as well, so we don't want them getting dragged through any mud or anything like that. So I'm looking forward to wearing these um, because they are really, really nice, really smart to wear. And the last pair of trousers that I purchased were jeans. And I have never, ever ordered jeans online. This was the first time that I ever ordered jeans online. These were from New Look. They are called Hannah. They are a size 14, so I went up a size, and I'm glad I did because they are super, super comfortable. A little bit loose around the, the waist, but fit well on the bum. And that's what I struggle with is, because my bum's quite wide, is um, having the, the hip to bum ratio, or the waist to bum ratio, can be off. So these are a little bit loose on the waist, but sit nice on the hips. Um, they're straight legged although i do have them rolled up here at the bottom but i'll unfold them so you can see they have this sort of frayed there we go we have they have this frayed edging on the bottom of the jeans and again can be dressed up or dressed down i have worn them a couple of times already but i really like them really really comfortable and i would highly recommend anyone considering um buying jeans online to make sure you look at your size guide but if you have a um, similar issue to me then maybe it's best to to go up a size and i know for a lot of us it can be a bit daunting to be like oh but that's not my size um, but size is not everything it's how you look in your clothes and it's how you feel comfortable in your clothes so if you have to go a size bigger go a size bigger 
like no one is inspecting the size of your outfits and I think when you are like me and you get into your 30s it's very different to when you're in your 20s because when I was in my 20s I wanted to be a size 8. I was a 10 and I wanted to be a size 8. Now I'm a size 12 buying size 14 jeans. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> So, highly recommend these, super, 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 super comfortable. And the last item that I purchased to add to my wardrobe was this lovely hot pink dress. I could not do a haul without something pink. If I'm adding bright colors, it's gonna be pink. You would think that pink is my favorite color. It's not blue, it's actually my favorite color, but I do have a lot of pink in my wardrobe. So this little slinky number it doesn't have any splits so it's just completely straight up straight down but then it has this lovely little cowl neck detail and these strappy straps this is also from new look the material is this lovely little sort of satin material um, i do think they had other colors on the website i'm not 100 percent sure but I was instantly drawn to the pink dress, uh, especially with spring coming. So this is gonna be a really nice addition to my wardrobe. No splits like the green skirt, but it's still quite sexy, I think. So I'm really looking forward to wearing that at some point in the future as well. And lastly, I wanna to talk to you guys about footwear. I have been drawn to a pair of boots that I've seen someone that I know wear on Instagram. Um, it is the pageant stylist, Danielle Latimer, and um, I'll put her link down here for you. And basically, she's going to Texas to compete in a pageant. So Texas, the home of cowboys, she had these really, really standout pair of boots, um, over the knee cowboy boots. To a lot of people, they're going to be very tacky. But to me and Danielle, we couldn't resist them. So I purchased not one pair of boots, but two pair of boots. I purchased over the knee and knee high cowboy boots. I'm going to show you the ones that I think a lot of people are not going to like. However, I adore them. So are you ready? Because they're bright. Here we go. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, it's not finished. <laughs> Look at these. Look at these boots. If you have been a long subscriber of my channel, you will remember my unboxing video of the, um, I think they were, they mean it's Balenciaga boots. Um, I will put like the little card up here so you can click onto it if you want to. But they were metallic over the knee boots and I feel the same showing you guys these ones. They're not everyone's cup of tea. These are neon, this is neon yellow and then white. Okay, you've got the neon yellow stripe down the middle and then you've got the detailing on the, um, the ankles and the, the points of the boot, okay? What am I gonna wear the, with these with? Probably denim, probably like a denim dress. Um, I could wear a jumper dress. You don't have to be tacky with over the knee boots. You can wear them and still be like covered up. So I'll probably do an outfit of the day at some point with these, um, but I wanted to show you these. Guess how much they were? They were 10 pounds. I couldn't leave them. I have nowhere, absolutely nowhere to wear them, but for 10 pounds, I could not leave these. So I purchased those. And as I said, I've purchased two pairs of boots. So this is the second pair. This is probably more everyone else's cup of tea. Um, but these are black with the sort of snake skin detailing on the point of the boot. There we go. And then on the heel, uh, the ankle of the boot as well. Okay, and then you've got it here up at the top. Um, I love these. Um, I was going to actually wear them with this outfit, with the green skirt, but it was quite a casual event, so I didn't actually end up putting them on, but they were in the car with me. Um, so these were also 10 pounds. I couldn't resist them. Um, I literally went for those boots. I went for these. <laughs> I found that they were 10 pounds and I was only gonna buy these, and I saw these and I thought, 10 pounds? I can't leave them, so I got those as well. So I got two pairs of cowboy boots. 
So guys, those are my new items that I have added in my wardrobe. I hope you have enjoyed this haul. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which item was your favorite and leave me a thumbs up and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.